Hi, good evening everybody. Welcome to Channel 6 TV, Community Focus. I'm Kenny Fogel, your host. Glad you could join us tonight. And we got a gentleman here that I, we want to introduce to the world. And the reason I want to say that is, uh, is you'll know, know a little bit more as I go into it, Mr. David Dons. First of all, David, Hello. welcome to the show. Appreciate you being Thanks here. Thanks a lot, Kenny. Appreciate and it. And the reason I say introduce to the world is I've heard a lot about David Dones over the years. I mean, I've heard people say how super smart guy, super nice guy, one of the best guys you ever want to meet. There must be two of us. Well, there must be two of us. But now... But the thing is, is that you're you're not somebody that shows an awful lot. You know, you're somebody that's very quiet. You're very unassuming. Very, mm -hmm. uh, and, and 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 they're all good qualities. I'm saying that for sure. many reasons. Mm -hmm. But uh, now you're in the world of politics. You're the newest member of the Bartstown City Council. Congratulations yes, on that. Thank you. So, um, tell us before we get started, who is David Dones? Uh, well, I'm a lifelong, nearly lifelong resident of Bardstown, Nelson County. I was born here in Bardstown. My parents moved to South Florida mm -hmm. when I was six months old. Uh, we came back. Uh, Dad pursued uh, his electrical contracting uh, business, and we came back here in, uh, I think, in around 74. So uh, I've been here ever since. Yeah. And graduate of uh, Nelson County High School. You know, I've got a little bit of college under my belt. Uh, started my own business uh, around 1997. Prior to that, I worked uh, local uh, factories and mm -hmm. uh, uh, some heating and air contractors. Uh, tried a scent, stint uh, of uh, plumbing supplies. I started a business there. Um, started another business with my brother Rob, a sheet metal business, uh, 4D Sheet Metal, which he's uh, taken in another direction now. So started my electrical contracting business uh, in 1997 and uh, primarily have dealt with the distilleries. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of industrial stuff, uh, but mostly, uh, let's say, 99% of my business is with the distillery. Family? Family. Reggie and Mary Alice Stones are my mother and father. Uh -huh. uh, I've got two brothers, uh, Rob and Dan. Uh, they, they're, they're all local. Uh, my wife, Dana, of course, lovely wife, Dana, and my, uh -huh. and my three children. I've got uh, Taylor, oldest, and then uh, Wes, uh, my middle son, who's currently a, a student at University of Kentucky. And my youngest daughter, Emma, who's mm -hmm. a student at uh, St. Joseph. So you're well familiar with the Bardstown Nelson County economy, obviously working in private. Yeah. But when you when you, somebody starts your own business, I mean, mm -hmm. it's a world of difference than working for somebody else. Absolutely. Because you get to see all the all the fun red tape that you have to go through, yeah, all the taxes absolutely. you have to full of paying. Right. So, so does that open your eyes a little bit about some of the issues that the normal people... Business people have to face in Bardstown and Nelson County. It, it really has, and and being an, an independent contractor, I mean, the the word, the use of the term independent is you know somewhat misleading because you've got a lot of bosses, you know, when you're <laughs> right. a contractor. So so now I've kind of traded that in for you know everyone in the city of Bardstown is my boss, <laughs> you know, if you consider it that way. But uh, it has, it's opened my eyes, and I've been able to see from the inside out. Uh, a lot of the utilities issues, uh, you know, and people signing on to utilities and the issues they've had with that. And then, you know, uh, working with the city of Barstown, working with Salt River Electric, mm -hmm. um, seeing how the whole thing is laid out is, has opened my eyes and it's helped me with, a, you know, have an understanding of... Yeah. Well, coming from a very technical background, there's a lot of things that the city's involved technically. I mean, mm -hmm. obviously there is utility issues. Mm -hmm. Even when you get into fire and police, there's technical issues that people don't think about as far as... That, uh, that you have to address. So mm -hmm. that's something that's probably prepared you that you maybe didn't know you are preparing for. Yeah, I, I had no idea I was preparing for uh, <laughs> public service, but uh, I'm happy to do it. I've, I've always wanted to contribute to public service in some way, shape, or form. I didn't know that jumping into <clears throat> city council was going to be my first foray into it. But uh, Well, that was my next question is, what, is at what point did you realize that you think, you know, I, I've seen these people out doing this stuff and maybe it's politics, maybe it's government, maybe mm -hmm. it's civil service, but uh, at some point you felt that you had something you wanted to give. Yeah, and it goes way back. You know, I've, uh, even my family and some older family members, you know, I've, I've got some uh, some police, some fire, some male people in, mm -hmm. that ran in our family. And I always had a deep respect and admiration for those people that did public service. Mm -hmm. I myself had even considered a career in law enforcement, you know, early going with the state police. I thought yeah. I wanted to be part of the state police. Uh, probably four for me and the state police that didn't work out and and you know it led me to my career with uh, uh, in contracting worked with a lot of public jobs with that helped me uh, working with the public when I was in school 
Uh, you know, I worked for the Talbot Tavern as a waiter. I painted houses. You know, I, I worked at some of the local stores, mm -hmm. and that gave me the best, you know, insight into you know kind of how people are wired and mm -hmm. and uh, uh, you know dealing with public and how I would like to be treated as a as a as a person. Yeah. And uh, you know that that helped me tremendously. As a well-rounded person, I know yeah. I've seen you playing music in church, so mm -hmm. obviously you're interested in music. I am very much so. Uh, you know, the music community in Bar around Bardstown, Nelson County is, is as you know, is, is incredibly strong. Uh, I don't consider myself a musician. You know, <laughs> I, I kind of consider myself as a, a guy that hangs out with a bunch of good musicians, but we have a lot of fun. Uh, it's a good way to meet people, and yeah. you know, the uh, that's, that to me, it's, it's a uh, uh, that's that language that you speak, you know, that, that, that you only speak with other musicians, mm -hmm. that, uh, that, that is the greatest part of it to me. It's sitting down and, and being able to speak that language yeah, with, the, with those musicians. Well, you, uh, you stepped into a hornet's nest of some mm -hmm. sort. You know, Barstown City Council has went through some very much turmoil over the last couple mm -hmm. years. At this point, it looks like things are leveling out, calming down to mm -hmm. some degree, but uh, there's a lot of work to be done and a lot of uh, issues that needs to be address maybe to resolve some trust issues i don't know maybe i don't know do you feel like, what do you feel like it needs to be done what's the next step for the marshtown city council getting back to just routine normalcy or what, what well what's next? well that step has already the first step's already been taken and that's the greatest step mm -hmm. uh, in my opinion and getting uh mayor heaton has has had a huge calming effect uh on the yeah, proceedings he has that tendency. <laughs> overall it's you know, I had a com brief conversation with Chief Earl before my swearing in, which, which is a, I sat down next to him in the council chambers and we were chit chatting. And uh, he said, uh, he, that's the first thing he mentioned. He said, the first thing that you notice here when you walk in is just the calmness and everyone's cordial to one another. Yeah. Uh, you know, things get done. You can, they can communicate with one another. So that, that right off the bat, is going to go a long way in serving the city mm -hmm. going forward because of that calmness, that that uh, you know, the willingness to work together uh, between the mayor and the council is, is going to serve us well going forward. Do you feel like the council has somewhat of a common vision now, more so than more of a confrontational vision? I guess it was. That that goes without saying. Yeah. I mean, it's it's uh, there there is no confrontation. Mm -hmm. If uh, there's a, there's an ability to discuss and disagree. You know, everyone's going to have disagreement, but but this group has the ability to do that uh, on a, on a you know on an, an intellectual level. Yeah. Uh, so so it's it's just uh, it's 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 a true blessing to be involved with that group of people and to help uh, be a part of turning the city yeah. in the direction that it deserves. Well, going into this, I mean, is this something that you have a personal vision of what you want to see Barstown be someday? Are you one of these people that want to see? solve the problems as they come. I mean, there's different ways of obviously approaching government services. Uh, there's probably always going to be problems. I mean, you got to get them every day. Yeah. And well, there, there's a couple of ways of looking at that. Um, you have to be reactionary on some of the problems that, mm -hmm. that, that arise. You know, there's some things that you can't, cannot foresee. Right. Uh, you know, whether it be, you know, weather related problems, you know, cost to uh, things that aren't in the budget that you have to... Uh, uh, generators blow up today. Yeah, <laughs> things, yeah, things like that happen and uh, those are things that you have to be reactionary but at the same time you can't, com can't solely be reactionary. You yeah. have to, you have to, there has to be a vision, there has to be, uh, you know, looking forward and, yeah. and I do believe that this group has that capacity. So it barks down I know it's got the small town atmosphere, but at mm -hmm. the same time we're growing enormously in, mm -hmm. in a variety of ways. And so that's uh, something you have to manage, but at the same time, keep that small town charm. I mean, right. it's kind of hard to do. It is. It's a, it's a fine balance, and there's many, many, many opinions uh, to one side or the other. You know, mm -hmm. growth, growth versus preservation. Uh, that's one of the things that uh, last night's council meeting, you know, encompassed was, uh, you know, the zoning regulations and changes to to uh, a bed and breakfast uh, and, and short-term rentals. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a passionate debate on both sides of that where, where you have to have, you know, Bardstown needs uh, a certain amount of lodging mm -hmm. uh, because it's, it's a tourist community. I mean, people love to come here. It's a, it's a huge part of our economy mm -hmm. and we have to provide that service uh, until we have, you know, a, a, a hotels 
uh, I understand, you know, are, are willing to come to locate here, but until we see that happen, there has to be a fine balance uh, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and allow some of that thing to happen uh, so we can accommodate our guests. Mm -hmm. And um, but, but, you know, as far as looking at industrial growth, uh, residential growth and uh, preservation, it, it's going to be a challenge going forward because, mm -hmm. you know, look, look at the city now compared to where it was 20 years ago. Um, you know, look at this highway out here. Oh, yeah. When I came out here to, to visit you today, it, it's a challenge to get here. Uh, and it's, it's uh, you know, uh, traffic, you've got, you've got uh, those issues, uh, you know, roads issues, yeah. and uh, it's going to be a fine balance and it's going to take a, a talented crew to try to work it out. Well, obviously the big thing coming up right now, the budget coming mm -hmm. up here fairly quick, and I mean there'll be some changes to that, I'm mm -hmm. sure, from the last budget because we had a huge, I'd say a huge tax increase overall mm -hmm. with the occupational tax going up, but we also had several huge expenses, right. primarily in the fire department. So. You see the budget sort of leveling itself out this year with no major surprises? <laughs> uh, I do. I hope so. And, and, and quite honestly, Kenny, I haven't had, you know, this is my second meeting. Right, I don't want to throw you too much into and, the numbers and, yet. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I don't believe that they're asking me to be involved on the finance uh, committee. If uh, they do, I'm more than willing to serve. But I think they're, my talents are, are better served than utilities yeah. end of it. Uh, but I obviously will have to get involved in that, and I think I honestly do think it's going to level itself out. Mm. Uh, the tax increase, it, it was a big one, you're, you're, you're correct, yeah. but we have to find ways to pay for those things that we have obligated ourselves to. Uh, and we, you know, in my personal belief, and one of the reasons I ran, uh, I don't believe that the city could continue to, to take from the utilities uh, funding to cover sort of mm -hmm. uh, cover things such as police and fire and things like that. It's just not fair to the to the uh, city residents that are on the city utilities yeah. as to the ones that aren't. So, and, and that's going to be straightened out. I mean, that's that's the reason for the tax increase, mm -hmm. obviously. Uh, but I do to answer your question, I do believe that that will level itself out, and I don't foresee any huge changes. But like I said, it's my second meeting. So. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, I don't want to put you on the spot too much. Okay. Yeah. Now, I'll get into utility before we get out of here. I do want mm -hmm. to do cable TV. Obviously, getting a lot of challenges from uh, other uh, other mm -hmm. sectors. I mean, I know there's a lot of advancements you're working on in mm -hmm. cable TV and utilities. Is that something you feel like need, you need to get more competitive, or what, what do you need to do? Yeah, that's going to be interesting going forward because, uh, and I'm looking forward to working with Jeff Mill. Uh, on that very thing, and, and I think that's part of the uh, the reason that uh, uh, that I was encouraged to run by other people was mm -hmm. they felt like that I had something to offer in that realm. Um, you know, going forward, there there will be some challenges. There will be, uh, you know, there's always uh, differences of opinion uh, on on the types of services that we provide to the residents. And, uh, you know, uh, that's, that's definitely going to be something that I'm looking forward to helping solve. All right, well, David, we do appreciate you taking the time out of your day yes, to sir. come out here. And like I said, we want to introduce you to the world a little bit. A lot of people know you, but it's mm -hmm. always good to, as you get thrust into this. And like I said, uh, you did get thrust into it yep. uh, to some degree, even though you had spent some time. Now, campaigning is one thing, mm -hmm. but... Uh, Governing is, is, is another, and, uh, and everything I'm hearing is, uh, I think we're, we're in good shape. I, I believe so, Kenny, and thank you for having me out today, and, and uh, looking forward to, to doing it again sometime. All right, thank you a lot. Appreciate you Thanks being here. David Knowles, our newest Barchdale City Council member, and again, get to know him, and, uh, and a lot of going on in the city of Barchdale, and uh, David is, gonna, is there to uh, move us forward, so hopefully everything comes out well as things are starting to settle down, and uh, Get into a more peaceful world. Stick around. A lot more to come here on Community Focus on Channel 6 TV. We'll be right back.